Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today we have an interesting and important update to discuss in the world of iOS as well as kind of jailbreaking. Today, Apple released the fourth beta iteration of iOS 9.3, and the jailbreak related segment will come more toward the end of this video. So either be sure to stick around until then, or down below in the more info, there will actually be a table of contents that will allow you to more easily skip to which sections most interest you. So, up first, let's talk about this latest build. So, I'm just over here on Apple's developer portal, which is at least partially accessible without having to log in. You can see iOS 9.3 beta 4, the latest build was issued today. For the post date, it has February 22nd, 2016, today's date. And for those of you who don't know, I'm briefly going to talk about some of the changes found in iOS 9.3 in general before we get more specific and focus on the fourth beta installment. So in iOS 9.3, we're just going to switch on over to Apple's 9.3 preview page here. We have Night Shift, which is essentially the company's own version of Flux that makes your display easier to look at at night by essentially reducing blue light exposure. We also have Touch ID for notes as well as just security in general for device that don't actually have Touch ID, you will be able to lock your notes with a password. We also have a new algorithm for the news application that basically allows it to more accurately bring back the For You recommendations. Verizon Wi-Fi calling in beta form has been added, and we have revisions to the health application, specifically to make it more closely mirror the look and UI that we have on the Apple Watch. There are also some other changes as well, but those are the most notable. I will actually have a link in your cards and annotations up on your screens right now to one of my earlier videos discussing iOS 9.3 beta 3, this firmware's predecessor. So now in iOS 9.3 beta 4, what exactly has changed and why was it issued? Well, essentially it seems like Apple's pretty happy with iOS 9.3 in its current beta form because we really don't have much. We just have one notable change and that's the revision of the night shift application inside of Control Center when it's brought up. So now I've switched back to a clip taken from one of my previous videos. Here's the iOS 9.3 beta 2 and beta 3 night shift icon inside of control center. And here's the one found in the fourth beta. You can see it is a slight improvement. However, I think that it could easily be confused for the flashlight because if Apple didn't use the current flashlight icon, then that could be a great replacement. So what I think they should do is actually use something that's more reminiscent of what they have on their iOS 9.3 preview page for Night Shift when discussing the feature. You can kind of see it right here. Let's get a quick zoomed in view of that. So there we go. It's just kind of a lamp and it looks really nice and clean. What do you think? Do you think that Apple should use this or stick with the current one that they have in the fourth beta? Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments section. But that's really it for iOS 9.3 beta 4. We don't have any other notable changes. And what does that mean? It means a release is most likely near. Before getting into the other interesting pieces of this video being 9.3's public release and jailbreaking, let's quickly discuss how to install iOS 9.3 beta 4 for those of you who either aren't interested in jailbreaking or are stuck on iOS 9.2.1 anyway. Just plug your device into your computer via standard USB cable, launch iTunes, ensure that you have the corresponding IPSW downloaded for your device, and then while you're on the device screen inside of iTunes, you need to hold down either shift on a Windows-based PC or the option or alt key on a Mac and left click check for update. Point the window at the beta 4 IPSW and then open it and proceed with the update. You will retain absolutely all of your data. Of course, you can also wait for the corresponding public beta, which seems to be easier and the preferred method for installing. All you have to do is just go to beta.apple.com and follow the simple steps. So let's talk about the possibility of an iOS 9.3 release because that may very well be what the next untethered jailbreak is contingent upon iOS 9.3 and its release. So if we look back to the last two versions of iOS that were released being 9.2.1 and its predecessor 9.2, they were both issued to the public on a Tuesday, which kind of seems to be the new schedule Apple is sticking with now. So if we abide by that, and if we go two weeks out from today's date, then that will put us at March 8th, 2016, which is a possibility. However, what's more likely is that if Apple actually does hold 
hold the rumored iPhone 5 SE or iPhone 6C and iPad Air 3 event on March 15th, that that will also be the date that iOS 9.3 is released to the public. That definitely makes more sense because those two devices are rumored for release on March 18th and they would most likely ship with iOS 9.3. So provided that's the case, then we will most likely see iOS 9.3 beta 5 on March 7th 2016, which of course is two weeks out exactly from today's date, it's another Monday. So the two possibilities for iOS 9.3's release date in order of least to most likely are March 8th and March 15th. Now let's talk jailbreaking. There has been some controversy lately and people are starting to become irate that we've waited as long as we have for a new untethered jailbreak. However, we really need to start to keep it into perspective because we have had to wait upwards of nine months before. One of the worst waits for a new untethered jailbreak was between the iOS 6 and iOS 7 evasion jailbreak utilities. Again, that was a nine month wait. But what about a new jailbreak present day? Can we expect one soon? Unfortunately, iOS 9.3 beta 3 wasn't a good sign because see, when the jailbreak developers have a new utility ready for a firmware that they're going to target, then they typically wait about one to two weeks to kind of finalize everything and prepare to push out a new utility after the firmware they're targeting is released to the masses. Unfortunately, we are well past Past that now with iOS 9.2.1, the latest public firmware, which was issued on January 19th, 2016. And with each day that passes, it's more likely that they will wait for iOS 9.3. And while the point can be argued that there's always going to be another version of iOS, so why not just release it now? It actually makes the most sense to wait for iOS 9.3. And I did create an in-depth video discussing that very topic. I highly recommend watching it because once we get to that point, with iOS 9.3, timing will start to become less of an issue. For the exact reasoning behind that, I will have a direct link to this video on your screens now via the cards and of course the annotations. So be sure to watch that if you have yet to. What do you think about iOS 9.3 in general? And are you glad that the jailbreak developers look like they're waiting for iOS 9.3? Let me know down below in the comment section. Also just note that we are coming up quickly on iOS 9.3's release date and possibly two new iOS devices. So how exciting is that? Again, don't forget to discuss in the comments. I'm going to keep you guys updated absolutely every step of the way. Anytime anything happens in the realm of jailbreaking, I'm here to keep you updated and informed first. So if you have yet to, just be sure to click the subscribe button below next to my channel name, like me on Facebook, and follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is ICU signing out. Join the iCrack Your Device community on Patreon to help out the channel and to be featured in videos similar to these top contributors. Click the link on your screens now if you're on desktop or check below.